uh, more companies these days are actually making uh, prospective employees and current employees who are up for promotion take personality tests. It's about 200 questions. It costs the employer about $200 per test. And I ask you all these questions, and it kind of figures out if you are an abstract thinker, uh, a traditional thinker. So your view of the world, and then they can better assess how you get along with uh, clients or other teammates. And it's, it's working for the companies. I don't know. So Mel and John, would that work? Who knows? I guess Dennis wouldn't put them on the same team. All right, now we're joining, uh, we're being joined by uh, Kaplan Mowbray. You are an author with the 10 Ks of Personal Branding. Your book That's is correct. right here. That's correct. Thanks for coming into studio Thank you so on much. this awful Wednesday, but it's Wednesday. It's, That's the good news, right? It's Wednesday. It's great <laughs> to it's be here. Day. <laughs> and uh, we're talking about uh, how small businesses can yes. build better brands for themselves. That's correct. And uh, you have some tips on how to do this. Can you take us That's through right. some of the tips? Yes. I mean, uh, this is the the uh, very important time for small business to stand out. Right. Uh, one of the best things is relationships. You know, don't treat your customers like a one night stand. So, All right. So get in if into you get an in LTR. It, yeah. Long term I think relationship. This is the time where small businesses. <laughs> really can build relationships to actually compete so that okay. they are providing a really great memorable service and that's a great way to actually brand yourself uh, based on service. Yeah, love the one you're with, love give more and don't charge less that, and change right. the game instead of jumping in. That, that, that's correct. You know, one right. of the things that I think I it's it. important it's like today, dating a it's like dating a client yeah. and in every business and services is, 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 a, is a date. You know, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that everyone's got a uh, a memorable experience, but they know you for what you are and what you want to be known for. Mm -hmm. One of the things I talk about is it's important to not just provide a service, but actually look out for your customers. And the businesses that do that actually really create loyalty that allows customers to actually be engendered to them. Let's talk about some examples. How do you make, um, how does Starbucks make me feel like I'm a valued client to them? You know, I think Starbucks wants, um, you know, if you go to the same Starbucks and they know your drink already and they've got it prepared for you and so all you have to do is walk up and, and pay, mm -hmm. and this, is, this actually happens, it happens a lot in the city today. Right. Um, that's a great way of, of anticipating customer needs but building relationships. Right, and then sometimes if they maybe add something free every now and every then now with and your then, coffee, right. maybe you get, I don't know, a donut for free. Right. Uh, it's, it's nothing to the coffee company, but it could mean a lot to you and your yes. perception and, and your loyalty. It's just like every business is an amenity. You know, like when you walk into a hotel room and five minutes later someone knocks on your door and there's a piece of chocolate and cheese in your room, you feel great about that experience. Right. So small businesses and, and businesses in general should treat themselves like an amenity to their customers. Gotcha. Um, you, in some of the notes, you have gift wrapping for free, yes. adding a few extra points to a, a, an online photo order. Exactly. So all like little perks that mean absolutely nothing to your bottom line, that, and it'll right. mean something so much to right. a, to it's a customer. It's all about the unexpected benefit. Yeah. You know, if you can create an unexpected benefit, it really allows people to remember you, and it really helps you to brand your business and your mm -hmm. service as someone that is worth something. I ordered valuable. a pair of shoes from Nina Shoes once, and they gave me a free set of earrings. I had yeah. no idea. They're the right. cutest earrings. I wear them all the time. And now have you reordered? And I've gone back. There you go. You've gone and back. And it was such a surprise. I was like, well, I'm not a good customer. Why did it's they do so this? It's so important today to, to build loyalty. Yeah. Um, what about acknowledging customers' birthdays? What do you think about that? You know, it, we're in an age where privacy is a very interesting thing. You know, mm -hmm. people know that in the age of Facebook and, and other social media channels, people want the personal connection, but they don't want necessarily to see that you're spying on them. But they do. <laughs> yeah. Everyone loves it's a birthday. Like, how did you know my birthday? Right. I didn't how did give you know it to that? You? I didn't give it to you. But everyone loves a birthday gift. Yeah. And I think the more that you can make your business personal to your customer the more you actually make them a valued customer. So we appreciate, customers appreciate that personal touch. But normally for my, I just had a birthday and I got tons of 20% off coupons and yeah. discount codes to a lot of retailers, but I was sure. like, ah, 20% off, now I gotta spend money. Is that a good idea, or should they maybe just say, here's a free 20 bucks? I think, I mean, free is always good, but I actually <laughs> think that the best thing that you can do for your business is right. actually just to say thank you. With it's, no it's perk with no, at all, no perk just at all. thank you for with your all, I think thank you for your business, loyalty. thank you for your loyalty, happy birthday. Because right. what it does is it, it shows that you care, mm -hmm. it shows that you're watching the, the customer and you value their, their experience and their purchase. All right. And that goes farther than a 20% discount. Okay, what about giving samples? Samples are good because I think we're in an age where you have to try before you buy mm -hmm. or you have to research online before you walk into a store. Right. So giving someone a sample to touch, feel, and hold your product is a great way to get them really warm to the connection that you're building and also giving them something for free before they actually make an investment. Now, I've heard this from a lot of people, especially those who specialize in the small sure. business world. They always say that you should under-promise and over-deliver. That is correct. That is Why correct. Why is that? Because I think that when customers can get a wow right. because of something you did, it creates a wow in terms of the money that they're going to spend with you. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you delivered a project or you projected to deliver a package in two to three days and they got it overnight, 
you now gave them two extra days on their business to do something with your product. Yeah, that's a and great And it creates idea. this wow. And we're in an age where wow does matter. The wow factor. The wow factor. Yep. So I, I think, you know, anytime you can over-promise uh, and over-deliver, and uh, you know, under-promise and over-deliver, mm -hmm. you actually create this wow with your customers. And what about in a social media sphere? People are, and consumers are oftentimes taking to Twitter. Yes. More so than Facebook, but more Twitter so to Facebook. complain about things. Yeah. Uh, how should small businesses monitor? Because they're on a smaller budget. How do yes. they monitor the whole social You should realm? monitor social media because what is said about you online does create the, the perception of your brand. But right. I, what I actually say is tell people what you want them to know about you. So mm -hmm. you should be tweeting just as much about your business and all the great things you're doing for your customers right. as they are tweeting about you. And you also should build what I call brand ambassadors. So people that are going to get out there and share the great things of the experience right. with your business. All right. So I'm a small business. Yes. I have to look pretty, yes. woo my customer, yes. go on more than a couple of dates <laughs> with them, get in a long-term <laughs> relationship, then, you know, get married. Yes. And uh, surprise them every day with, like, fun Exactly. Breakfast. And don't take them for granted. Lunch and dinner options. Lunch and dinner options. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got it. it. Sounds like hard work. What kind of companies do you specialize with? Uh, I specialize with all major companies in terms of different industries. Um, a lot of the tourism, hospitality, and leisure oh, really? companies. Okay. Because, you know, if you think about What's the brand. What's their biggest concern? Because people aren't spending money. People are spending money, but they want an experience. Yeah. So whether they are traveling on your airline, whether they're staying in your hotel oh, room. Oh, come on. Airlines? Right. Seriously? Yeah. What, what well, freebies you, are we getting on the well, airline? Well, there's two things on the airline. Priority seating. Right? You have to pay for it. You have to pay for it, but priority seating and, and getting onto uh, an airplane is to actually you know, put your bags up first. Yeah, Those are two key. little things that are very key in this age of sort of compression. Well, then can you tell me an airline who is helping us bring our, our carry-on bags on for free and finding a place for us to put them? Um, right now, the airline <laughs> industry is, is, is very challenged, but there are some airlines that are out there that are doing a great job. And yeah. what they're doing is actually the, those that are rewards customers, you know, uh -huh. if you will, that are, are sort of loyalty customers. Mm -hmm. They're actually treating them with the idea to, you know, reward their loyalty, give them a, a free bags in, in some cases. Yeah. Okay. You know, and actually get, get, bags get on, on first to actually put airline. your big luggage in the, in the overhead. So yeah, I won't name the airline, but there are a lot of great airlines out there that are still <laughs> doing a good job, even though the industry is, is challenged. Yeah. Well, you have to have status, though, to yes, get that. Yes, you do have to have. But, you know, we re I think good businesses reward loyalty, and yeah. loyalty builds status. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, it's a win-win for the customer and the business. Right. Okay. Yes. Thanks for coming on, Kaplan. Oh, it's a pleasure. Really pleasure appreciate it. Kaplan Mowbray with uh, the 10Ks of personal branding. Look, there's your book on the screen. Excellent.